I don't know if you guys have seen the update for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card game uh, wallet that's being designed, um, but a lot of players are, I don't know, not so much questioning it, um, but they're wondering um, more or less how the Kickstarter program works. Um, so to my knowledge, um, this is actually really cool, uh, because if you back the creation of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game wallet, um, you do get some rewards from it, which is really cool. Um, it's definitely a chance to, you know, get involved with the production process, and it allows the players to get something fun to know. If you guys aren't really familiar, the uh, quote-unquote card game wallet is basically the calculator case, um, so to say. Um, if you guys don't know, it's basically uh, the calculator case, your dice, you know, card holder slots, um, two pen holders, um, things like that. And they're giving the public a chance to basically contribute money to it and basically uh, makes the product better. Now, you're not contributing quote unquote for free. Um, you know, you do get some kind of return, um, stuff like that. And if you guys haven't seen, WizKids is the one doing this through the Kickstarter program. Uh, they're doing the Hero Click stuff later this year. Um, they're releasing the keychains, which I happen to pick up at um, Gen Con this year, basically the pre-release. Um, they're really nice. Um, so if you guys um, want to contribute, I would definitely look into it. You know, there are rewards for it. Um, I'm going to spin something in there. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Uh, but you have until October uh, to decide if you want to help contribute to the project. Um, it's really nice uh, because, you know, it definitely proves that uh, with new projects coming out, you know, the players, if they like them, they can, you know, help back them, uh, which is really nice, um, especially for this particular thing. Um, I don't think the players really understand um, the fact that, yes, um, it does take money to make this, you know, maybe not so much what they're asking for, but the thing is, um, this is a good step in the right direction because if they're asking for contributions and stuff like that, the really cool thing is, you know, we can get more projects going and things like that, depending on, you know, how this one goes and stuff like that. So I definitely wouldn't complain about this. Um, like I said, there's a reward program built in, you know, for this, you know, and you can definitely get your opinion based on, you know, what you contribute and stuff like that. So uh, it's really cool, in my opinion. Um, the voting process went over super well. Um, from what I've seen because they have the actual design posted and stuff like that. Um, so overall, um, the players really can't complain. I mean, they got the vote for it, and now they get the chance to invest into the project, uh, which is absolutely beautiful, in my opinion. Um, I'm definitely happy um, to see, you know, some kind of progress in this um, in the long run. So tell me, guys, um, I'll have a link to this in the comment section down below um, for you guys to check out. Um, like I said, it's really cool um, that, you know, WizKids is giving the players a chance to contribute. Yes, I know the players aren't always going to be happy about this, um, but the fact that, you know, you get your voice input into the project and, you know, you get rewards and stuff like that, it's not totally a waste in my opinion. So, like I said, leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think, in my personal opinion, I think this is a brilliant uh, step forward in the right direction, you know, uh, for the stuff that we can see coming from uh, Nika slash WizKids. Um, but, you know, a lot of players still aren't going to think that way. So, tell me what you guys think, both sides of the argument. Um, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what other cool stuff is going to come from this. I can't say that enough, but, I guess, M40 out. Later.